Hey guys, welcome back. Orbomb here, bringing you another episode of our PC Live content videos. Today, people today we're playing Dark Box. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna let you guys know right now. For those of you that don't watch the videos all the way, because I get a lot of comments that are like, "Where's the deck list?" Just watch the video, homie. It's in the video. It's usually at the very end of the video. Just you know, just 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 scroll. Through. If you don't want to watch the video, I get it. You no, know, we don't all got that kind of time. Um, scroll through the video until you find the deck list. I promise you, I showcase it. Uh, anyways, I was gonna make a few changes. This is my dark box build that I've been working on on stream. Uh, what was the thing I wanted to add? There was something I wanted to add, but I can't remember. I'm gonna play Recess Stamp again though, because I just feel like I've been playing it against. So I was playing this on my own time, which is something I usually never do. But uh, I figured I want to get a good dark box video up for you guys. Uh, one thing I keep running into, but it's kind of annoying, is like tag team stall decks, like metal, like Lucario or or um, or what's it called? Uh, Guardy. So, in all those matchups, if I had a recess stamp, I feel like I could have won. So, I'm going to play this recess stamp now. And uh, for sure, just hold on to it throughout the game. Everything else feels kind of okay. I do want to play, I think I want to play Chaotic Swell over Forest now. Only because, like, Power Plant's annoying. And also, uh, I don't feel like I need Forest in this build. If I'm not playing Naga, I don't really need to, I don't really need Forest. Chaotic. At least that's how I see it. So we're gonna try that, and uh, everything else feels pretty okay, I think. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll do this. This seems okay. We'll see if this works. Uh, anyways, we're playing. Uh, so we did a we did a stream a few days ago, which I don't upload streams anymore. So be sure if I start streaming, hop in and join in uh, for sure. But like, I'm not uploading them anymore because you know YouTube algorithm shenanigans. They ruin your they ruin your channel. And my channel's looking up. We just hit 7K a few days ago. That was pretty sick. I think we're at seven, seven thousand and twenty-five or something like that right now, which is awesome. That's super cool. I want to hit. I was hoping to hit ten thousand by the end of the year. That's probably not going to happen. But uh, if I can hit seven point five, I'll be okay with that. I'm really cold, so beanie still kind of sick. I got really bad after that Cephalon video, which is why I haven't uploaded for a while. But I'm hoping I'm back on, back in action. This is really bad. <laughs> I mean, I'm prob. <clears throat> we don't really need to hit a bunch of B strings, obviously, because usually you only have. You can only have enough energies to hit one or two. So I can lose these B-strings. I'm not gonna bench this other dude yet just in case because I might just detonate this turn. But I have a red and I have the dude in my hand, but I don't have a manual attachment. So how do we beat this? <clears throat> oh, another card I want to put in here that I have that I forgot to put in, but I probably should put in is Greninja Zoark. Uh, in this build specifically, I like I like it crazy amounts of energies. So like Greninja Zoark wouldn't be that bad. Uh, I guess I'll put this down. And I will tag call first, grab some Pokemon. Uh, ooh, we have Darkrai Umbreon Prize. That's really not good because we use that for a knockout a lot. Um, oh, in this matchup though, I think this is our best attacker because this GX attack is really strong. Um, do we have? We have all of our energies. We have the psychic like, energy. Is GX attack to be able to look at your prizes and take any two helps with your prize trade because that means you can take two prizes immediately and then you can spend the rest of the time training to knock out two Keldeos, which is easy enough to do because you have Weavile here, and you have a few Guzzlords and a few Dark, and you have Dark Red Prism as well. So you can definitely do it. So I guess I'll bench this now. And I'll, yeah, I think I'll bench this right now then. I'm losing a Great Catcher though, which is super whack, but we gotta get manual attachments every turn, and uh, to do that, we gotta play the Dene. And I can't, I mean like, once again, I have, Another one of these, and I have two more, I think I have two more B-strings in the deck. I haven't checked my B-string count. But we don't really need the B-strings. Uh, we actually accelerate a lot of energies just by using one or two red and blues. So we should be okay there. All right, this is not bad. And we can heal with this thing too, which is great. I don't want to overbench though, because we are playing against Keldeo, so I gotta keep that in mind. I guess I'll play that right there. And we can Cynthia for sure. But I have the red and blue in my hand, so I don't think I want Cynthia. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I'll hold. Then again, like, the chance of me getting... Nah, we don't really need to grab anything else. We're good. We're good. We'll just do this. I don't I don't think I need to dig for anything else. I'm just going to go ahead and play my red and blue next turn and then accelerate energies. Um, I need to find my psychic energy, so maybe I should have played Cynthia just to help me find psychic because I'm not playing the force anymore. <clears throat> Being able to really early look for my psychic energies and... Uh, take two prices of my choosing would be pretty nice. Oh, we're playing a greens build. Okay, so no Keldeo, that's even better for me, I think. 
Uh, oh, I get to, if I can, oh, I can't really, never mind, don't forget anything. I was gonna say I could probably take uh, extra prizes. I could, I could, ooh, what is this? He's going second, so he's gonna get rid of my energy? What a loser. <clears throat> I'm still sick, guys, so I'm sorry I'm cleaning my throat so much. What a loser. <laughs> Shout out to you, dude. I'm not, I'm not actually calling you a loser, but first of all, that came to my head. <laughs> Wait and see, Hammer. That's cool. That's actually really cool. I like that. Oh, we even top deck Red Blue. It means I can't play the Denny this turn. I don't really need to, I guess. Actually, it would be nice, though. I could start hitting him. No, I can't. I mean, I could start hitting him with Weavile. Uh, seems unnecessary, though. I could play this. I don't want to... I just kind of want to get rid of it, though. We have Cynthia for next turn, so we'll be okay. I probably should have played Cynthia last turn, though, because that would have gotten me a... Uh, I, I can just use Agility. No, I don't need to use Agility. He's just going to... He's just gonna. He's just going to. Uh, what's it called? Um, GX next turn. So this thing will be safe. Uh, I definitely want to use this attack though next turn for sure. All right. So we get another manual attachment. We get a Cynthia. I have to be careful though because he's gonna skew the prize trade. What's that on his bench? Is that Blastoise? Yeah. Okay. For some reason, people like this Blastoise. I don't. I don't get it at all. But whatever. Who am I, right? Just some loser on the internet. <laughs> I'm a wait and see loser. <clears throat> I shouldn't be recording while I'm sick because I, I know you guys hate it when I clear my throat. But I lost the mute button. I haven't fixed it yet because it's annoying to fix. Um, also, I'm wearing a beanie, trying to keep myself warm. No, I don't. My jacket. I don't know where my jackets are. <laughs> I only own two jackets, but I don't know where they are right now. So that's annoying. So I've been like in bed, and now I'm just like, uh, whatever. All right. So 280. There's nothing I can really do to hit that. Uh, oh, if, if I attach this, I can't attach a Psychic Energy. So I don't want to attach that this turn, just in case. Let's see. Well, no Psychic Energies. I can't grab the Dene. It's not bad, actually. We're losing three B-Strings if I do that, though. And we're losing another Red and Blue. Hmm, probably not the best play, then. I do want to put this back and find something, though, that might be useful. Guzzlord could be good. He does take an Oko, though. Honestly, this looks like our best attacker for the time being, at least. I need to weaken him somehow. But getting energies is going to be difficult. Ah, uh, man. I could attack him with my own Weavile, but I can't retreat this turn without a manual attachment. So we definitely... Mm, I guess I want to attack with him. I guess. Sure. I definitely want a Cynthia. <laughs> I don't want to lose a bunch of dudes. I could agility. Does that matter? I mean, it's supposed to be on B-String turn if it takes a knockout, so I invite it, I guess. B-String means I get my Psychic Energy guaranteed. I can heal off some damage with uh, oh, some, but not enough to avoid a 2 KO, unfortunately. But if I can GX attack and... He's on Accelerate Energies over there, though, which means he can just retreat and attack again. Hmm. Now I gotta figure out what's the best way to avoid shenanigans. Because I can't give him any more four prize... I can't give him any four prize knockouts. Which is, I can't really GX with this thing anymore. <coughs> okay, so I can't GX with this anymore. It's too late. We never found the Psychic Energy. Uh, ultimate right here. We can start using B-String, which means we can definitely get an attack off this turn. Uh, maybe should have held on to that Pokemon for the Dene. But, like, we'll be able to attack with this thing and take four prizes off his dude. Then he's going to come in and take four prizes off me, which would lose me the game. So, I think I lost. I think I lost because I was too focused on doing this. You know what I could do is I could attack him with Weavile and just set up another one. That might just be the right play, to be honest. Because if I get Darkrai Prism, that could be really good, too. But, if I can attack him with Weavile and he doesn't heal enough... I can take four prizes with Megatar and then win the game with a Dark Rare Prism if I get the uh, Dark Rare Prism, or not Dark Rare Prism, Dark Rare Umbreon off the prizes. But this way, he only takes three prizes. Then again, he's probably going to heal with this attack, right? Isn't that what the whole thing is about? And I, do, I have the recess stamp. Maybe I can recess stamp him? Let's see. We're going to thin quite a bit here. 
Let's go ahead and start doing that. Uh, no point for the psychic energy right now, I guess. We can hold off on that. Then manual attach. And we'll Cynthia. Let's see if we can find the reset stamp. That'd be ideal. There it is. Uh, we even have a bunch of the Denes, which could be useful next turn. Let me reset stamp him because I don't want him to get a bunch of energies in his hand. I think this is my play. Because he can't Oko this. Already manually attached. Uh, yeah, I think this is my play. We'll Shadow Connection 1 here. And these both have 28, 280, I mean. So we should be good. Yeah, we'll just we'll go ahead and weaken him with Claw Slash. Uh, we ideally take a knockout with this. So if not, we're going to have to dig super hard for the Great Catcher. I'm glad we found that stamp without digging. We were able to dig, but I'm glad we found it without digging. All right, let's see if he can heal. Oh, he has play, he's playing green. Okay, that's scary. I mean, I knew he's playing green, but like, he, he got green, which is scary. But can he get energies? And can he get enough energies? Because I as long as he has like 60 damage on him, 70 damage on him, we should be okay. Which means he needs two energies and he needs to retreat. And if he retreats, I just attack him again and I'm the, the game plan is the same, right? Because as long as I can get him to get... In, <laughs> oh, he has his own great catcher. What's he going to do with this? Is he going to weaken this? Oh, if, if he weakens the tag team, that's really bad. If he goes for the dark, the uh, the Megatar, that's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. Because he's going to weaken this and then finish me off for game. So I can't even take a knockout anymore with this thing. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much to an extent. It does actually matter because I have to be able to knock him out with this thing now. And I need to find a switch now too. He's only healing a little bit though. Okay, so is it enough for me to take a knockout with this? Because now I need to find the psychic energy. Okay, we have more. We have one more B string. All right, he has a zero card hand, All right, and that's enough. No, it's not. I have to hit him for two hundred. Are you serious? Oh man, I can't hit him for two hundred. He has a zero card hand though. Okay, yeah, I have to bank on him. Have I have to? Do something with his zero card hand. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it, boys and girls. Uh, Caldex Swell is great. Uh, we have switches, which is also great. This is clearly unnecessary. Uh, hmm. I grab Dene and dig some more. Do I need to dig some more? Not really. I think I just have to hit him with Weavile again. Anyways, I guess that's what I'm doing. Cause like I literally keep unless he tops deck. You no, know, there's nothing he could top deck that could like help him. Is there? Maybe. Just in case, I guess I'll move my energies. Uh, <laughs> just in case. I'm a little bit nervous now. <clears throat> so the game plan is the same. I need to find. I need to find uh, Dark Ryan Brown off the prizes. If I if, ideally, I need to find Dark Ryan Brown off the prizes. If I don't, it's not the end of the world. Uh, click done there. I'm always really careful about how I click done. Uh, well, it's not really the same because I still need to find a Psychic Energy if I'm going to pull this off. I, I think I need to play that Greninja Zoark, man. Greninja Zoark, at most points of the game, would have been really good. Because I'm, I'm getting so many energies on the board that in this deck, I think Greninja Zoark would be amazing. Like the Naga deck, I'm not as as not I'm not as I'm convinced because like you actually lose a lot of energies when you're playing the Naga deck because your opponent's usually taking more knockouts. At least that's what I find. Uh, especially when I'm attacking with this dude. But like, late, oh, he just top decked Metal Lucario MML. I'm okay with that. Attack me again, my dude. Or retreat and attack with this one. It doesn't really matter. I think he has to retreat, right? Because that's like... Otherwise, like, he gets knocked out by something. At least with this thing, he's less likely to be knocked out. Yeah, I'm okay with this, though. Because that means... I guess he's charging... What's he charging up, though? Like, he has to charge this thing up, right? Because it's like the better attacker. But if he, t he charges this up and he's safer... All right, so we have a 50-50 chance of getting Dark Ground Brown. It might be worth playing two of them now. <laughs> Greninja Zoark, though, would have been amazing. Seven energies on the board. Probably six if we manually retreated. Although, we would have, we had the switch. So, seven energies on the board. Hit, being able to hit 24. Excuse me. 2400 would have been nice. And it gives me another attacker. So, it might be time to put that card back in the deck. Does he have enough energies? I mean, he lost a bunch of energies already. Oh, dang. He doesn't have enough energies. He might Steel Fist, maybe? No, he's setting this up first. Interesting. Surprising to put all the energies over there. Well, uh, let's see what we can do. Pokecom. 
We don't. We definitely don't need this Weavile, so I'm probably gonna discard it. Uh, let's see. What is in the deck? Ooh, Dark Red Prism can hit 120. That's not enough though. I mean, at the end of the day, we're looking for Great Catcher plus. Uh, oh no, Great Catcher's prized. Oh no. Well, Dark Red Prism it is. <laughs> Although we can't really attack with it, so uh, I don't want to give him prizes. So look, it looks like we're trying to get the other Weavile now. How many energies are left in the deck? Uh, we still have four and the Psychic. Well, it looks like we're losing the Switch now too. Uh, yeah, I mean, not really much I can do here. I guess I'm just trying to weaken him again. I don't, great catchers. We have a lot of important stuff prize this game, bro. That's what happens when you play like Dark Box is annoying because of these reasons. But we got the Weavile, so we can at least attack with the Weavile. No energies though, which is annoying. I guess we can play. Oh, oh no, it doesn't matter because there's no energies. There's no more Weavile up in the deck. Uh, I guess I'll thin the deck though, for sure. I don't want to give him any prizes if I can avoid it. So we'll retreat and we'll start attacking with the other Weavile now. Oh, there we go. All right, um, one, once again, we are just digging, <laughs> digging for that uh, Darkrai Umbreon to finish the game off for us. And now we would like another B-string before he takes a knockout as well. So we'll Claw Slash again. And we'll see what happens. He can retreat this time. We don't have... He gets at least two more turns, right? Because we don't have Great Catcher in the deck. Because it's prize. The other one's prize, at least. So... If he retreats, he's not going to retreat. Which is great for us, because that means we get prizes. Uh, if only I had a different Pokemon I could attack with. <laughs> like a low-energy Pokemon. Because <laughs> it would have been nice to keep six energies on the board. But we do not have six energies on the board. So we'll take a knockout next turn, unless he like top stick something that can get him more cards and also a great catcher. <sighs> There's another dark energy, which is great for me. He shouldn't be able to oko this, as far as I'm aware. And we'll keep thinning the deck. Well, there's nothing to thin, but we'll do that at least. All right, <clears throat> there's two cards I could use that can help me win this game. So if I can get any of them, that would be nice. Yeah. Darker Embryon or Great Catcher, if I, if I keep them both in their prizes, uh, that's not looking good for me. <laughs> it is not looking good for your boy. Oh, uh, that's not good. That's not what I want. That is also not what I want. Come on. <sighs> just don't retreat this, please, and we win the game. Just, just leave this active for me, please. Just don't retreat it. And also, don't top deck either. Oh, God. All right, show me the Great Catcher of a game. I am so upset. <laughs> I'm livid, man. Oh, man, to lose both Darkrai Umbreon and Great Catcher is whack. It's super whack. Also, dude, this one of Psychic Energy is getting annoying. I mean, I could have grabbed it off B-String, for sure. We lost three B-Strings that game, though. <laughs> yep, there we go. Well, uh, we will call it there. It's a close game. It's definitely a close game. Uh, but unfortunately, Things were not in my favor there, but I will. This is why I don't show you the deck list right away, because I make changes in the video. So stop asking. <laughs> this is fast, fast forward. All right, we're gonna add a Greninja Zoark. But we gotta take something out, which is gonna be difficult, because I don't wanna take anything out. I really don't wanna take anything out. I'm gonna t See, it's always hard to take out Cherish Ball, because Cherish Ball is essentially a draw supporter. Um, Pokecom, is you need them for your Sneasels, and then you need these for your red and blues. So like, I'm playing these heavy counts because it keeps the deck super consistent. And that's how I want to keep it. Um, so there's, but there's, because of that, there's not a lot of room for things to cut. I could cut one B-string. Like, I don't really need four. I mean, I, once again though, you play four so you can draw into it. I want this reset stamp in the deck. Every time though I want to add a card, it's just like maybe I just don't play I guess I just don't play reset stamp, huh? Hmm. 
See, the Psychic Energy is good for your ADP matchups, so I want to keep that around for the ADP matchups, because all you got to do from there is weaken the ADP and finish the game off with a Megatar, right? So, like, in the ADP matchup, you play, uh, you attack with this, weaken the ADP, and then you finish off the ADP for this for four prizes, and then you GX for your last two prizes with this card. So, that's why I'm playing the Psychic Energy, otherwise I'd cut it. Uh, energy recycle system is energy recycle system is just good. I want to keep that around to Cadex well so that power plant's less of an issue. I could cut out this Weavile. Uh, Evil Admonition is really good though, versus like. Eh, I'll cut out the Evil Admonition for now, and if I feel like I need it, I'll put it back in. Plus, look at that. The deck looks so much cleaner now. Uh, let's put Greninja Zorak in. <laughs> and let's check our prizes better, I guess. Alright, guys, I had to make a quick cut. I'm sorry about that. Some issues came up. But we are back for another game. I am having a difficult time with this deck today, I think. I think there's a lot of options you have with this deck, for sure, and I like that a lot. But the, the biggest concern I'm having is I'm playing pretty low counts of cards I want to play higher counts of, and I can't decide what is more valuable. I've already trimmed the deck quite a bit by playing B-Strings. B-Strings means I don't have to play Nagas, which is great. Uh, this opening hand is weird, but it's not bad. It's just weird. But this is what I'm talking about. Like I'm only playing two great catchers, and I'm gonna lose it again with Dene. I could just not lose it with Dene, but then like I kind of feel like I'm putting myself in the back foot by not drawing as many cards as I can right now. Mewtwo and Mew. I mean, we get to Oko that eventually with this card, but we let it, so it's not looking super ideal for me. Uh, so how do we beat Mewtwo and Mew in this in this particular matchup? It's definitely not impossible. I just gotta figure out what I wanna do here. He's playing Brexy's art, okay. I wanna play Dark Rite Umbreon. I wanna snipe around a bit. I wanna finish things off with Mega Sableye Tyranitar. Stealthy Hood is a card, <laughs> for sure. It's a card, it exists. Uh, if I can load up a bunch of energies on the board, I can take knockouts. I need like what? I need eight energies on the board? That's a lot to ask, so I'm probably not gonna be able to pull that off. Um, We'll see what happens. If I can take, like, like I said, if I can take one knockout with Sabletar and I can GX with the uh, Guz Na Naga Guz and I win the game, right? So that's gonna be what I try to do. Uh, I have to take a knockout on Tag Team. Here I can just take a knockout on Dedene and then also take a knockout with uh, GX Attack, with Dark Round Round GX Attack. So he played the Dedene down, which gives me hope to be able to do some shenanigans. So that's good. I think what I want to do is get another Sableye down. I'm afraid of sniping. Uh, kind of, I don't know. I don't think he's playing Psychic Energies. So I think we'll be okay. I always hate when I draw Weavile. Okay, um, what do I do here? Oh, what is the chances of him being able to snipe me next turn? They're pretty low, right? I think we'll be okay. Let me thin the deck a little bit. Grab some cards. Uh, we have the cards I need to win the game, quote unquote. I think I will just go ahead and grab these dudes because they're my attackers. And I'll hold on to the rest of this hand. Get a manual attachment down. Uh, I mean, this is really all I need, right? And then I can use this to get red and blue in a, in a, like a fodder card, I guess. Evolve into Weavile by drawing this Weavile and then the Dene. I can also Great Catcher, potentially, depending on the rest of my hand. <coughs> That'll give me three energies on the board, which means I can start attacking. It's not too bad. If he plays two Dedenes and then he can't Oko this, then uh, we win the game there too. So that's another option. But getting five energies on there, it's more of a closer, right? Like you can't really just play it down and hope to win. You kind of have to close with it. But at the same time, like, I don't want to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if I can just GX once and then finish the game off with Sabletar, that'd be great. So I need to check if my Great Catcher is prized, and I need to try to GX with this as soon as I can. Which means, um, I need to take a knockout so I can B-String, I guess? That's a decent thing that could happen. Uh, what else do I need to do? To get six energies on the Dark Rite Umbreon, we're gonna use one red and blue next turn. That's three energies, four energies. Oh, maybe, if, maybe in a perfect world, I can get two energies and a, um, Dark Rite Prism, that'd be six energies. I move them all, GX attack immediately. Uh, then next turn I find Great Catcher. Seems like a pretty decent option. 
We have options. He's definitely playing a lot of attackers that I wasn't expecting him to play. So he probably he probably is playing the 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 box version, not the breaks. I thought he was just playing like abilities are kind of thing, but it looks like he's probably gonna be playing psychic energies too. So I'll keep that in mind. What did he just do? He just GX'd. But what GX did he do? Did he play this GX? I think he did. Okay. Uh, what do we top deck? Okay, that's not super great, but it's fine. We'll make it work. I want to keep this round because once again, that is another GX option we might use. It's doubtful though. I don't want to lose any of the other cards, so I guess we'll lose these two. Um, yeah. I could could I take a knockout? <coughs> I might have made a mistake because I could have just taken a knockout on this thing, right? One, two, three, four, sixty, one, thirty, sixty, ninety, one, twenty. 150 uh, maybe but I don't think it's worth I do want to keep that option to, to, I want to keep the option around the uh, the Nagaga's option all right so this is fine we'll be all right I mean if I do get the hmm. if I do get another dark energy and another great catcher I might use it we'll see what happens I didn't check out my Great Catcher's prize again, but it's fine. Uh, let's see. Codex Soul's pretty good. There's a manual attachment. I can start doing damage. Shouldn't be too bad. We can get another red and blue, potentially. But I don't have another Weavile in the deck. So that's prized. So we'll do this. Uh, is there anything else I want? Not really. Shadow connection. Do that. I'll move to the big boy just in case. Let's just, we'll just keep them separate like that. And I guess I'll play this down. Uh, I mean, I'm not taking a prize here, so there's not really a point playing it down right now. We'll dark pulse. 150 is not bad for sure. Let's see if he takes any crazy knockouts this upcoming turn. Hmm. Let's see what he does. I'm not too sure. But here I can take a knockout with Sabletar. I mean, unlikely, but it exists. The possibility exists. I mean, if I get a switch, then I definitely can do it. I might manually attach this, this uh, psychic energy. But then, I mean, it's either I manually attach it or I lose it. At least if I manually attach it, it's like at least useful in case I whiff an energy attachment altogether. Latios Prism is a problem, kind of. We can attack with Weavile for a knockout. Well, Latios Prism stops tag teams, right? So like we can still attack with Weavile for a knockout if we need to. Uh, we can also take a knockout with Guzzlord, but we'd have to get the Guzzlord. And there's no way for us to like top deck all of that. There's a great catcher, which is interesting. What's he doing here? Is he going for the Dene? Okay, he's going for this. So now I have to find a switch. He's trying to force me to find everything. He's trying to force me to find a lot. Okay, that's fine. He's going to do the thing uh, with the tag team thing. So, uh, I don't know if I still manually attach to him. I think it's not worth it anymore. I could attach to him. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, then this is like me banking on finding a great catcher now, right? If I attach to him and then taking a knockout to Dene and then just trying to finish him off later. Uh, banking on finding a great catcher off of uh, potentially 12 cards at most is uh, pretty difficult, but it is about, nah, it's like one third of my deck, maybe. We'll see what happens. If I can just top deck it, that'd be like the best case scenario. He didn't get a psychic energy down, so I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he needs a psychic energy. I guess he whiffed the psychic energy. Which means he's not going to be able to use tag purge this turn. Which means he needs to retreat now. Or I'm taking four prizes. Four, uh, I guess he might just GX me. Tur oh, he's just going to turbo strike. Bro, I will take my four delicious prizes. I guess he's trying to also force me to lose all my energies. Which is <laughs> an admirable play for sure. Uh, I need... Uh, God, I was going to say... <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be crazy. 
I think this is the play. So I get to take the knockout. Maybe I just hold on to my hand. No, I need to start building up B-strings and Guzzlords. I'm going to take three prizes here. So I am going to just start building. Uh, we have a Guzzlord in the deck. Oh, God, that's so disheartening. How many Pokecoms? Three Pokecoms and no tag teams. This is That's super disheartening. I guess I just have to go ham next turn, not this turn. Just in case, I'll play this down. Yeah, I guess I just have to do it next turn. But B-strings are a thing, so I'm going to have to try my best to find B-strings since he's going to take a knockout next turn. But I want to take my four prizes here, because that means I'm just like a GX attack away. Actually, I can't GX anymore because I'm losing my Psychic. Uh, but I am a... I guess I'm still a GX attack away with Dark Rambrion. Excuse me. But I'm B strings. I can find B strings. I can get a manual attachment. I just need to find B strings. There is one prize. No, there's not one prize. There is uh no, I think there is one prize actually. This is good because I can get baby guzz. Uh if he stamps me, there's baby guzz. Um if he stamps me something in the world, cherish ball is good because that's a that ain't out in case I need it. Uh in case he stamps me or something. I'm just I'm just keeping stamp in mind. So now he's an attack purge, but he doesn't take a knockout attack purge, and I can hit him with Weavile, and I need to find a switch, which is unlikely. Uh, Dark Red Prism is pretty okay, but it's not great. Well, I guess I'm losing all my energies. Well, I mean, I'm not losing them, but I'm gonna move them. Can't retreat, obviously. Uh, I mean, I could, but it's not great to retreat. So I think I'll start moving my energies around all over the board. And this just wins me the game, though. So, like, all I gotta do is find a switch. Uh, so, boom. Boom. I'm just going to move these to pretty much all my Pokemon except for the, uh, the Dene. That seems the easiest thing to knock out. I might, like, try to bait him to knock out the Naga Guz, though, because, uh... Because at least we can... We have the other Guzzlord in hand, so we can still B-string. He might also try to knock out the Weavile. That's another option. Weavile would be a good knockout for him to do. Let's see. We need to find Great Catcher. I still have to check if Great Catcher's in the deck. I always forget to do that. I mean, I think it's in the deck. I'm pretty sure I saw it, which is why I didn't check, but I have to double check because you know me. I'm silly. I make mistakes. That, that Those definitely happen. Let's see. Nothing grabbed. Uh, tag Purge for Knockout, I'm sure. This is a one retreat cost. It's time to go ham, I think. Now he's just like a snipe away from winning the game. So I have to win this turn, don't I? All right, let's see what we got. Let's take a look at the deck real quick. Uh, let's see, do we have the Great Catcher? We do have the Great Catcher. Oh, we don't have to, no, we have the Denny in hands right, Never mind. I'm being dumb. All right, uh, we have Cynthia. We have some B-strings. We don't really need the B-string. Actually, we do, we need one B-string. Well, Emmanuel, we have plenty of energies in the deck. Maybe we have Cynthia as well. So let's go. It is absolutely that time. He's got to find the combo pieces. We got a Cynthia. We have a B string. Just imagine if I had another psychic energy, guys. Just imagine for a second, just for one second, how great that would have been. We'll stamp him down to three. I'd like to bump his stadium if I could as well. Uh, let's just burn these cards real quick. Burn new world. Uh, do that. You do this. Uh, and Cynthia again. And we whiffed. Um, we also did not get a stadium either, so I think he just wins with a snipe. If he gets the Naga, of course. He needs to find the Naga first. He hasn't G Oh, he already has GX'd. Uh, so I have to give him something that he can't Oko. Can I win with this thing? I didn't find any more great, any more beast energy. I can attack him. Uh, can I hit pa I can't hit past effects, right? So like, all da oh, this isn't damage, right? So I just win with this, right? Right? This isn't damage. I'm just knocking him out. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I just won with this card. I'm pretty sure I win. I'm gonna find out real quick. 
but I think this is game. Because this isn't, this isn't damage, this is just me attacking him. It doesn't prevent attacks, it doesn't prevent effects of attacks, it just pre prevents damage. So I'm going to go ahead and assume this works. And if it doesn't work, there's a chance I lost. But there's also a chance I didn't lose. Dark Moon? This should work. Yeah, this works. All right, cool. It's okay. I actually didn't know if that was a thing, because sometimes PC Joe's all glitchy. But we won that game, which is pretty cool, I guess. Like I said, like you don't really need that many B-strings. As long as you can find one or two in that game, you're set for that game. Uh, I guess I'll play one more game. We'll make this video pretty decently long. Actually, I don't know. It's, I don't know how long it's been because I had to make cuts, but uh, <clears throat> it's been it's been pretty okay. I also got to remember to make cuts. I need to make a note. Where's my sticky notes? Uh, they're not anywhere I see. So it looks like uh, you might have some dead time in this video if I don't remember to cut. Gotta title this video, make cuts. That's all I gotta do. If I can make cuts, we're okay. Wow, no lead. Surprising. We have like a bajillion leads. Okay, let's see if we can get one good game. I mean, that last game wasn't bad, but this is what I'm talking about, man. Great catcher, man. I wanna play three or four. <laughs> it just feels like every game has come down to great catcher with this deck. Uh, so playing more great catchers could be good. Uh, but as you can see, we're not whiffing, we're barely whiffing the Denes. Oh no. Oh, I hate leading Dark Heart Prism because it's such a strong ability when it works. <clears throat> and it works quite a bit too. Uh, I don't, what was I saying? I, I barely ever whiff uh, Turn One, I, I whiffed Turn One Sneasel last time, but no, no, that was a different game, never mind. But I barely ever whiff Turn One Sneasels. Uh, let me get, speaking of which, let's get Turn One Sneasel. And uh, do I send the, I think I still send the other turn because I want to get some setup going. I barely whiff Turn One Sneasels. I almost never whiff the Dene when I need it because I have so many outs to getting the Dene. Um, this is, oh, speaking of which, uh, well, this hand's actually really good for next turn, so I don't really need to do anything else. I could tag call just for the sake of getting down more Pokemon and not drawing into them, but I mean, there's a lot of cards I don't mind drawing into, so we'll just, we'll leave it like this. We have a really good hand for next turn because we're going to Dene as well. This is what I like playing high Dene's for because you need the Dene after red and blue, so you can draw while also playing red and blue, which is great. But like, I barely ever whiff the Denes. I barely ever whiff um, red and blues on the turns that I need them. Uh, and I, like, I, like, the chances of me whiffing these cards are so low because I play high counts of the cards that matter. So it makes things a little bit more difficult because uh, <laughs> I don't want to, there's a lot of cards I don't want to whiff. We're playing against Bucephalon. Hey, where's my Sabletar? <laughs> where's my Sabletar? He's hungry. He's hungry. You know, I was actually, uh, oh, what is this? That is not Bucephalon. I got way too excited. Uh, but you know, he's still kind of hungry. That is looking pretty mighty, pretty mighty good. Dark Rambrand is going to be good for the immediate knockout with a GX attack. Uh, what else? <coughs> if I can get Guzzlord, that could be good too. Because Guzzlord can just take a knockout on like these Marsh Shadows or uh, Poipo maybe? It depends. We'll see what happens. If I can find a switch. Oof. Oof. Feed me. <laughs> Feed me. So how are we gonna win? Uh, we have to get our 2,800 attackers down. 28, yeah, two, 280 attackers down, because those have much higher HP and can deal with these shenanigans. Dude, I'm telling you, man, this is what I mean. Like, <laughs> like we constantly get these uh, great catchers when I don't want them. Let's see. So this can hit high numbers, so that's pretty good. This is obviously really good for this matchup, and I just want to have it. Uh, but let's think. Let's look at this. What are we gonna dump? We're dumping B string. I guess we're dumping great catcher. And I can also just put this back and grab the Guz, uh, grab Guzzlord immediately, and then just try to find a switch. I actually don't mind that because I'm not going to attack this turn regardless. I mean, I guess I could just take a knockout on the Poipo, which would be actually pretty good for me oh, on this, which is not bad for me, but it's not great. Uh, let me just go ahead and grab the obvious, like, oh, this card isn't played in every Dark Box deck, that kind of thing. That way he knows I have it and I can just Poke Comet away real quick to get myself a Guzzlord. Let's get that down now. And yep, we'll do that. Red and blue. Yes, sir. That's four energies on the board after this manual attachment. And then we get to the Dene. Uh, that means I can attack immediately, so it's not bad. Uh, but once again, if I can find Switch, that'd be even better. So I can just immediately take two prizes, which will help me immensely. Because then I could just Nagaga's GX and knock this out for a game. Let me get this manual attachment before I forget. And I don't think this deck will be playing custom catchers, so... 
Hmm. This was not very good. We have Red and Blue again for next turn, though. No switch. Can I get enough energies to take Okos with this thing? I don't think it's worth attacking this unless I'm taking extra prizes. So I'm going to hold off on attacking with this thing. <coughs> but we have a pretty good hand. I mean, he's going to eventually give me this thing, right? So maybe, yeah, I think it's just in my best interest to not bother. Uh, I have to check the deck, though. Ugh, I wanna, uh, we'll check the deck next turn with the tag call, I think. We'll check the deck to double check there's another Weavile in there before we red and blue, obviously. And uh, put on red and blue into Dene again, I guess. Losing uh, Greninja Zora could be a problem, but we are going to get a bunch of energies on board. So, mayhaps <laughs> we attack with a Greninja Zoric to take an Oko on this as well. Um, that means we can keep our energies on the bench too, on our non-GX attackers, which could be pretty good. We'll see. Then again, his GX attack is looking pretty scary, because that's going to snipe some dudes like this and something with a lot of energies on it. So maybe I keep my energies on high energy. On I just keep I have to just spread my energies around. That's, that's the only option I have against this matchup. Otherwise, he can't snipe, because uh, I don't play Mew. And uh, he can just tag uh, Great Catcher. So he has ways to take big knockouts. So I got to be pretty careful. Dude, I am freezing. I can't wait to finish this video. I love you guys. I really do. That's unfortunate. I really wanted the dark energy. But the psychic energy could be good. Once again, I just like to have my options available to me because that Naga Guz could definitely make this game very different. <coughs> Poipo down. I can't Oko Poipo with this, unfortunately. He's giving me a chance. He's giving me a chance to find that switch. But he's also meaning I lose his Greninja Zoar. Actually, I can check my deck with this card, just in, just in case. We have the other Weavile. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the other Weavile. We don't need these tag calls. So we can dump these tag calls on this other Weavile real quick to get a mo few more energies on the board. Uh, boom and boom. Weavile. One, two. This is a two or three cost. So now I think it's worth actually just doing it. Uh, the question is now, do I lose this hand or do I just retreat manually? Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I'm going to use Naga Guz anymore. I, I'm sacrificing Naga Guz to do this. So, but I think it's worth. It might be worth, maybe. I don't know. Is it worth? B-String is not looking like a thing I want to play right now. I also don't want to lose my Greninja Zoar, but at the same time, if I'm doing this play, then losing Greninja Zoric might be the right play. One more time, just to see what's in the deck. Dark Embryon, Sable this dude, and then Naga Guz. I could just manually attach to the Naga Guz right now, retreat and attack with that. That's a pretty safe play. I get to pick any two prizes, and then I just gotta take four more prizes for game. Then I get to take knockouts from there. That's another option I have. I could just attack with this thing so I don't lose as many energies. Uh, picking any two prizes could be pretty good though, especially since like beast, this gives me double beast string targets. Retreat and attack with this, two prizes. Uh, meaning he has to mainly retreat. I kind of like this play. I'm gonna actually do it. Uh, let's see. Shadow connection. I'm gonna do this. I think this is the right play. One, and this, let me actually do it correctly. Cause I did, I had to, I don't know if I, it was in this video or in like my off time. It gets kind of confusing after a while, but uh, we'll do this, I think, yeah. I don't think he's gonna GX me. This will keep two energies on the board at least in case he does somehow take a knockout. And this this is gonna be a thing I can attack with at least. Uh, say done, and we'll retreat manually. Uh, we have energy recycle system, so it's not like we, we are losing out too much, but it's chaotic order. Take any two prizes we want here. Uh, that is a lot of dark energies prized. All right, manual attachment and Cynthia seems pretty good. Uh, energy recycle system also seems really good, but I kind of want Cynthia. Because we can't play in red and blue anymore. We might as well get supporters and play them. <coughs> Let's see what happens. If he somehow manages to take a knockout on this thing, or if he takes a lot of prizes here, we can always play B-Strings. And we don't have any B-Strings prize. We know exactly what prizes we're taking the rest of this game. He did get a switch, which is uh, a worry, <laughs> to say the least. To say the least, it's a worry, but it's okay. We got this. Another thing we can do is we can take two more prizes just off this uh, the Dene. Uh, so that's a pretty cool option. A 
probably should have put them, it doesn't really matter, but I should separate these energies here once again for the same reason I was mentioning earlier about the spread damage. I mean, it's definitely possible he just welders and manually touches lightning, but he's not doing that this turn, so we should be okay. He's only gonna hit me for 90, he only needs to weaken me this turn, but if he weakens me and I get Sabletar, I win the game, because I'm gonna weaken him. <laughs> And then uh, Mega Titar is all I need, or Mega Sableye Tyranitar is all I need to win the game from there. So, uh, I still have maybe one or more Tag Whistle and lots of, uh, yeah, we have one more Tag Whistle, lots of Cherish Balls. We have all four of our Cherish Balls, and we just need to find one B-String, and that should be it, right? So we'll have five energies on the board that way. If we can find a Switch, that would be better. Of course, we can't really rely on that. But we do have an extra turn as well to set up, so we should be okay here. He'll attack me once, weaken me so he can take a knockout next turn. And I think we just win the game it's if he if he lets me damage this. And we even found a switch too. Hmm, does that change anything? Not really. It kind of does. Like I could, nah, I just want, I want him to take a knockout. So we'll hold on. This switch might be useful later. So I'm going to actually hold on to the switch for now. There's a B-string and there's Sabletar. So we are good to go. I can I can violent admonition as well. Let me do that real quick. Uh, let's grab Dark Embryon since we already GX'd. Violent appetite for no reason, just to thin the deck. Yeah, just to thin the deck a little bit. Doesn't really change the fact that he's taking a knockout next turn, but once again, thinning is winning, as they say. I'm gonna separate these energies one more time because I don't I just don't trust it. I just don't trust it. Like that GX attack is pretty scary. And Jet Pierce. And that should be GG if he doesn't switch. Either otherwise, I'm gonna have to dig. But digging, I mean, I can't really dig unless he takes two knockouts this turn. Unless he exactly GXs me this turn. Uh, but he'll take a knockout and I win. Right? One, two, three, four, five. I need one more energy actually. I don't just win because I don't have a switch at hand. So I'd have to like top take a draw supporter of some kind. I could also just win with this as well. So that's good too. <laughs> I have a few winning options. Uh, I don't need to attack with Sabletar. I can attack with the Guzzlord. I don't know why I was so bent up on the Sabletar. I think it's just because it's one of my favorite cards. Like this is why this is why I think Dark Box is so much fun to play. Sabletar is such a cool card. Um, but like, I don't need the Sabletar. I just win with the Guzzlord by itself. But he's switching like a wimp, <laughs> like a wimp. Is he gonna give me these prizes? What a wimp. Can you believe this guy? Can you believe this guy right here? Can you believe this guy? Hold on, this guy right there? Can you believe him? That's right, him. Can you believe this guy? <laughs> uh, do I just take more prizes? This is actually cool because I get to heal myself again. <laughs> Which is actually hilarious. But we'll just heal myself again. And now he's once again out of range of taking the knockout. Keep spreading these energies. And, uh, yeah. You know, I think I want to move these energies again. I keep moving these energies. But I do think it's safest to keep these energies on the Weavals the more I think about it. Because Weavals are out of range. Yeah, we just win. I think he forgot the fact that I can heal myself. Uh, you know, we're going to call it there. The video is pretty good. It's not a bad video by any means. Uh, <clears throat> I, I love Dark Box. It's still an inconsistent mess to me. Like, there's so many cards I want to play, but I don't know what to cut. Because you kind of, I kind of want all these pieces, but this is, I think this is better than Naga. Because uh, Naga, you need six spaces, and then you need some dedicated spaces to find your Naga, right? And with the B string, you just need four B strings. And I guess because I'm playing the B strings, I'm also playing the Naga guys. I'm playing the Naga guys because it's an easy way to find a Pokemon that's a target for B string because you have Tag Call and Charge Ball, eight ways to find it. Uh, and I like his GX attack a lot. I think it's a really good GX attack. It's uh, it's very meta. Like <clears throat> I'm just just laying off the matchups. I probably already mentioned this, but like matchup wise, right? You play this card against ADP Caldeo because uh, you take two prizes and then uh, you take four prizes with uh, Sabletar um, and that's your matchup versus ADP Caldeo or you can just take extra prizes. You can somehow take knockouts with your Guzzlord. You can like grind the matchup up. But if you don't want to grind out the matchup, then um, take two prizes with this and then you take four prizes with this against their ADP themselves or something else they play down. Like you, need, you have options there, which is great. Um, it's also just good versus like Mali matchups. Um, Malamar, like you resist Malamar with the other attackers, and then like you can have like a fun early game where you just kind of uh, 
take two prizes immediately and then from there you attack with this thing or you know just go from there uh, I still like the dark art prism I pull it off a lot so I do like having it and even if I don't pull it off for two energies just pulling off for one can sometimes be really really helpful a lot like really really helpful uh, the two switches are good uh, the chaotic swells are good for power plants um, Cynthia's are your draw supporter of choice um, you got your two red and blues which you can find with your tag whistles or your tag calls I should say I gotta remember to call them tag calls now Stamp. Stamp is always back and forth. If you don't like the stamp, you can always cut the stamp for like something else that's more consistent. Uh, not really like I would know. But you can always double up on any of these attackers. I mean, I showed you guys earlier why I think Grenzo is good. Grenzo could help us a lot. I don't know if I actually did that on the thing. Oh, I was, I don't know. I don't remember if I cut this out or not, but I was playing a game. Uh, I'm, no, I don't think I cut that out. Did I? No, maybe I didn't. I don't remember. Maybe I didn't. Uh, I, the Grenzo is good because sometimes you just need to push that damage output and since you actually get a bunch of energy on the board Especially when you whenever you go off with B strings like you can push 200 300 damage with this Grenzo and then take big knockouts That's one thing this deck does not have is big knockouts uh, Especially when you're playing against mega <laughs> mega uh, Lucario Memetal or uh, Gardevoir the Gardevoir Sylveon like you want to be able to push for knockouts so you can win the game and that Gren Grenzo does that a lot. At first I was really anti-Grenzo, but after this video and after some previous testing, I like the Grenzo now. So I'm playing Grenzo. But that's another card you can cut out if you want to double up on any of these dudes for sure. Uh, we don't play any tools in here, but some Pokemon recovery could be good, like Lana's Fishing Rod or something. That's something I found myself potentially wanting. Uh, not a supporter, because usually you want to draw every turn. Uh, but you know a lot of fishing rod. There's no tools so you play it with just for the Pokemon But even just for the Pokemon is sometimes enough uh, I think that's everything I have to say though. Don't forget to like the video if you have not already uh, Subscribe share all that good jazz and I'll see you guys next time check out our sponsors at Garden Gaming for 10% off or bomb uh, Using code or bomb hold on boom. There we go uh, uh, What else do I have to say just like subscribe share you know, all your likes and comments, they're like medicine to me. I feel like garbage, so hook me up with that medication. Give it to me. Inject it right here. Right here. <laughs> uh, let me know if you guys think of the beanie. <laughs> all right, all right I'm, 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 I promise. I promise. Uh, do I promise? Nah, you know what? Peace.